this is what it looked like uh, around the side of the house uh, when I spotted the, the potential rot. Uh, when I picked away at it, um, I'm going to show you what I found. This is what I found. I mean, it's just obvious rot underneath there. And there are little ants crawling out of the holes. So then I called Ken and asked him to come down and have a look at it and see where the problem was. And what follows is the process today of taking all the siding down and finding out where the water came from. <coughs> Here. Here, sir. Let's see the back of it. Can you hold it up and just show the back? It's just a corner. It's just a corner. That's not too bad. There you go. Get the ants under there. Yeah, that's all going to come off. Because the air can get in it. Look at this. Bad, but yeah, certainly has to dry out. Oh, yeah, lots else. of ants there, too. Maybe that's where the problem is. Look at that. Look at this. This rinky dinky one. This is the rinky dinky set up here. That, of course, yeah. I, I don't know if you want a, 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 a jigsaw or whatever if you want to get that out of there or you want to just take the whole board, it's fine. Yeah, I can just cut it.
Well, there's lots of ants. Look at the ants. Look at this. It's not. Too, look at this. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna brush it. That's it right there. Is that it there? I'm trying to get it to pop up. This one's not too bad. Maybe. But look at the water. That's not good. Still moisture. That doesn't look too positive.
mystery saw? I don't think so. What's that that you're taking away? That paper? Is this tar paper? This is building paper and that yeah. they put over the car, it's just fine, but it just seems to have deteriorated for some reason. I guess some moisture. Yeah, it gets behind it. So it's going down here. And then down there. Somewhere up here. This is not good. No, no. That was supposedly replaced 15 years ago. Yeah. Well, I think that... Uh, was it screwed in? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like he used it. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it, but uh, it's going to fall out in. Well... I don't think you're going to have to worry about unscrewing it. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. Maybe. In there too, you can see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the screws will come out with the screwdriver. Or you can just bang them in, maybe, or just bang them off, or... Oh, I can tear them off. I don't, even, well, I don't even know why you would abuse them. Uh, yeah, I sort of use screws all the time to pull them off. Yeah. And they hold tighter than the else. Oh, yeah. Watch it. Yeah, we don't have... Okay. In there. I'll take this one out too, but it, it can dry out and go back in again. Just, uh -huh. You know, because it's cut the sides, so it's okay. It's just, well, you, well, just to let it dry out. Is well, you have an insulation isn't that big a deal, is it? Is it uh, no, it's not a big deal. I'm just thinking of just buying a bale of it. Look at that, look at that. It's not looking good. Although that's sort of... It's not wet. So When we did the water test, this water seemed to be coming right, right about there when I put it up there. There's a lot of caulking and other kind of stuff there that's causing situations. We don't know. Anyhow, looks like the bugs have been having a good time right here. This is it going right into the other room? Yeah, it is. That explains how the ants get in. Try and bring the uh, board scene that it's in there.